The pharmacies in the U.S. are now placing their orders for antiviral medications through the White House's new Test to Treat program. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Helen Boucher, the interim dean of Tufts Medical School and an infectious disease specialist at Tufts Medical Center. Thanks for being here, Dr. Boucher. Good to see you, Erica. All right, Dr. Boucher, Test to Treat is a major part of President Biden's national COVID program. How is this supposed to work? Well, Ben, the idea is that this is a way for patients to get treated as early as possible when they get COVID. So at the time they're tested, they could get treatment at, for example, a retail pharmacy where there's a caregiver who could prescribe that medicine. Okay, so let's talk about these two anti-COVID pills. The first is Paxlovid, that's from Pfizer. The other is Molnupiravir from Merck. So how would you decide which one to give a patient? What's the difference? Well, both medicines are effective and the Paxlovid data are perhaps a little bit more impressive in terms of efficacy, but uh, this medicine has a very large number of what we call drug-drug interactions. So it's very important that the doctor uh, knows the patient and reviews their other medications to make sure that there's no harm from using Paxlovid. The molnupiravir is also effective, maybe a little less so in the trials, um, doesn't have the drug interactions, but has some side effects that preclude its use in children and nursing mothers and pregnant ladies. So, you know, very important for a physician or a caregiver to be involved in making the decision of which pill is best for you. All right, you mentioned in there a physician or a doctor needing to know about other medications. Well, under this federal program, a pharmacist can make the decision about treatment. Do you have any concerns about that? Well, it's a little tricky, and I think it is important for the caregiver, whether it's a pharmacist, a nurse practitioner, a physician assistant, or a physician, to know the patient, know their medications, and know these particular two medications, because COVID is much more complicated than something like strep throat that's typically treated in these outpatient pharmacies. So care is needed, but we want to have access for all the patients who require these medicines. Mm. Okay, and we still do get a lot of questions from our viewers. So Dr. Boucher, here's one. Sabrina writes to us, I would like to know which countries have the fewest people vaccinated. Yeah, this is a sad story. You know, still much of the world doesn't have uh, enough vaccinated individuals. So Afghanistan, Haiti, many countries in Africa have very, very low rates of vaccination. And we know we're not gonna be through this until we're all through this. So focusing on vaccinating those countries is a major effort that's going on and something we all need to be concerned about. All right, Dr. Helen Boucher at Tufts Medical School, thanks so much for your time as always. Thank you.